Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another League of Legends gameplay. This one is going to be once again on the PBE server. Sup, sup, sup. I'm going to be playing Mordekaiser, guys, on in the bot lane. Not on the bot lane, in the bot lane. And um, we're going to be pretty much just destroying faces. Um, Mordekaiser is definitely reworked. He's a lot different on the PBE, so I'll be going over his abilities really soon. But there's a very special reason why I'm playing him Bali, and that's kind of an AD slash AP, mainly AP kind of carry champion. Um, and, I mean, the main reason is because of his W, which I'll get into really soon. But let's start with his passive first. So his passive is pretty much the same thing. However, now you see I actually have a bit of a shield there because it actually doesn't decay anymore underneath 25% of the shield. So it stops and it just kind of chills there, unless, of course, I take damage. Other than that, more or less the same passive. His Q is different. So now the Q in the live server, you know when you hit something, it kind of... Um, it, it, the, the main target, you know, does damage to that, and then three little spikes come out of the main target and hit three more champions or minions or whatever. Well, uh, pretty much what that does now is instead of having those spikes, it just does damage to that single target, but it does more damage to this single target. Uh, you empower the next three auto attacks, and it does more damage with each consecutive auto attack at, uh, from those three auto attacks. His W, like I said, the main thing and probably the biggest change next to his ultimate, being the sole reason why he works bot lane like this and why I'm playing him here, his passive, the main thing. When allies are present, Mordekaiser gains full experience towards leveling up from minions that he kills. So as long as I get the last hits on the minions, which, I was, which is what I'm going to be doing since I'm the AP's kind of AP AD carry, I don't know what you really want to call it, Bali Mordekaiser, you know, I am going to be last hitting everything. So, boom. That's full experience for me, and as if I'm in a solo lane, obviously beneficial. But, the next thing is my W, can I, actually, I cannot actually activate the W itself as uh, when there's no one around me, like a champion. So if Thresh, let's say, leaves and I'm by myself and I don't have an ultimate ghost, I cannot activate it. It just doesn't work. That's Z bottom, that is interesting. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but, when Thresh is around me, I can definitely activate my W. It no longer, I believe, uh, gives us uh, resistances, but, but, when I do activate it, there's going to be a little circle around both of us, so you're going to see that. And... Uh, when we're out of range of the circle from each other, it doesn't activate the W itself, other than the move speed that it offers. That's about it. But, what it does is, when we're within each other, uh, or close to each other, it does damage in an AoE around it, like you know normally does. Like, pretty good amount of damage too. But the coolest thing is the fact that I can actually activate the W again, while it's around us. And, what that will do is, it will pretty much uh, do more damage in that AoE from you know, both of us. And, it'll give us both HP based on how many champions and or minions we have hit with it. So, really cool stuff, so watch, I'll show you right now, like this. We go in the middle of things, here, activate the W, get some HP back, because I hit the Z, does, you know, it heals a lot more for champions. His Vayne is doing a lot, I must say. And that's pretty cool. Let me use a potion here. Cool. So the E, of course, does uh, work pretty much the same thing, it just looks cooler, and uh, it gives you more shield if you hit a champion. So you want to hit champions if possible with it. Okay, use my W. Again, the W is really is free. It's free, pretty much like HP. I can use it on minions too and get a lot of experience. Back, or not experience, a lot of HP back. Oh, nice try, nice try, nice try. That was really close, actually. All right, I don't have targons yet. This guy doesn't have his yet either. That's fine. Boom, hit the vein. I'm gonna get my E here. Level. I'm gonna level my E first because it is still my main damage spell, and it of course uh, also gives me my main uh, my main source of getting my shield for my passive. So that's kind of that. Hitting uh, my E on enemy champions, of course, does also give me more of the shield, so you want to hit them if possible. Nice damage by them, okay. Alright, I respect that, I respect that. Alright. And then my ultimate is pretty much the same thing, except for the fact that I can uh, get a dragon now. With, if you haven't seen my video about Mordekaiser and you know him being able to do that, you definitely should check it out. New news here. Hopefully he can lantern me, lantern me. Oh, uh, okay, good, we're good, we're good. Get that for us right there. Then he's chilling. I'm down for that. I'll camp you, uh, camp you and feed you. KK, I'm down for that. I am always down for that. Fiora's bot now apparently, and looks like Zed went mid instead. All right, that's interesting. It's fine by me, I guess. I don't know. Activate it again. Get the HP back. Very juicy. I love it. Great stuff. that. Cool. So there I have my Q attack once on the minion, and then the next one obviously does more damage, so the second he hooked her, which was a good hook by the way, we ended up pretty much uh, just destroying the vein because of my second Q, did a lot of damage with my E and my Ignite. 
So very good stuff there. Again, use my W whenever possible to get within the minions because, boom. She's within range like that, it's more HP for me, so that's good for me. I'll take that, no problem. But again, other than that, the kid is pretty much the same. Well, I mean, I'm not other than that. He's, other than everything being changed, it's the same thing. But his ultimate, like I said, more or less the same, actually, except for the fact that if you attack something... Oh, okay, get him. Uh, the, the little parry thing. Uh, if you do attack, attack dragon, you don't have to actually activate your ultimate to uh, put the mark on dragon. All you have to do is just use any ability and it automatically puts it on dragon. So something to sort of uh, keep in mind there. Let's back out of here. I think this is a good time to back. We're doing pretty well so far in the lane. But yeah, that's how that works. And if we kill it, as long as our team kills it, whether it's I get the kill or someone on my team gets the kill, it doesn't really matter. Dragon becomes my kind of uh, minion. And that's, I think that's really awesome. It's one of the coolest changes in the uh, the game right now. Out of all the uh, juggernauts or whatever Rai calls them. I get boots. And I don't get potion. Perfect. So I'm going to get the uh, Hextech Gunblade because it gives me AP and AD since my E ability, like I, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but it does scale off of AD as well as AP now. So that's pretty sweet. Um, my Q, both AP and AD. W, only AP. Ultimate, only AP. But regardless, the fact that the E scales off of AD now, I think that's really interesting. Um... Yeah, so I feel really strong. I, re I really do. Once I get the gunblade, it's easier to stick on the vein. Honestly, maybe even getting a blade of the thing well, might not be that bad of an idea. I don't know. I'm entirely sure. I want to probably max my W second. So if the, if the Thresh, for instance, decides to leave lane and leave me by myself, that's actually really bad for me because um, I cannot use my W if he leaves, right? I have no way to use my W. Uh, and I'm I'm pretty much down a spell, right? You don't want to you don't you don't want that to happen, which is why middle Mordekaiser is kind of iffy right now, since you are quite literally down a spell when you're by yourself, which for the most part you will be in mid lane. Not sure, not sure. Still got my E on him though. Good damage for my ultimate there. It's not gonna kill him unfortunately, especially if he pops a potion. But regardless, it's still pretty good damage. That's okay. How much HP does this cost? Wow, my W is no cost on HP. That is, I think it's actually broken. It should definitely cost some HP. So if you use it properly, you know, you get a lot from it in terms of... That's the wrong way. Hey, I got the assist for that. Nice. That's what I like to see. Yeah, we can dive this. Nice. Good job, good job, guys. Perfect. But you can see the power. And, like, all we have to do is dragon next. <clears throat> Where's Master Yi? I have no idea where Master Yi. Oh, he's right here. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, that was awkward. <laughs> that was really awkward. So uh, I think he gets uh, a heal too, right? If he was within it. I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got a little something in my throat. I'm not sure. But you can see that little passive, my ultimate right there, on the dragon. I'm, I didn't cast my ultimate, my ultimate's actually on cooldown, but I can still get the dragon as a ghost. I don't have to get the kill or anything. All we have to do is get... Boom. Like that. Just get the kill as a team. Doesn't matter who gets the final blow. <clears throat> but I have the dragon now. And this master, he's tripping balls. Okay, now we just push in mid. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know, it's just... The amount of pressure I can apply with this is uh, pretty OP. Oops, that's not, that's not, I was trying to type to him. Oh! <laughs> she left me. I feel like if we just... I think she should have tanked that with me and we, we could have just kept out attacking the Nunu and I think we would have killed them. But, um... Sorry, no mana. Well, that's okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I feel like we could have killed them, though. But, maybe I should. I have no flash. Or did I have flash? I don't know if I... I don't think I had flash. No, I flashed from here. Because I was... That was my mistake to begin with. I was trying to type to, uh... I think it was the Master Yi that was asking about dragon. I was trying to type to him and explain to him that, you know, I can summon it. But, as I was doing that, I think my dragon... I think the AOE from the dragon actually hits the champion, and then the turret ended up focusing me. So that was my mistake to begin with, but um, <clears throat> that's okay. We could just we'll just blame our team. That's just how you know. That's League, that's that's what we do. League of Legends, right? That's what we do. Oh, 
All right, go back to bot lane, push it in. Now you can see my W is inactive. I cannot use my W whatsoever. I need a champion or a ghost. If I have a ghost, I can use it. If I have a champion beside me, I can use it. But if I don't have either of those, it is completely useless and doesn't do anything. Except for the passive, I guess, which, I mean, it's there, but it's also effectively useless since I'm not really taking experience from anyone since there's no one to share it with to begin with. You know what I mean? But I want to get my W leveled up next. I think that's, wow, what was, wait, what the hell was that? Oh, that's VR, okay. No! No! Don't do it! Okay, I'm dead. I should have. I should have left him. I should have uh, not have helped him there. I didn't realize there was three people there though. I thought it was just uh, two people, or maybe even just the Nunu. But I should have left him. That's okay though. Not the biggest of deals. Oh, I got. I got this though, which is what really matters. So that's good. All right. So Mordekaiser, I mean, you know, regardless, he still has the problem of not having any CC in his kit. That's where, you know, it, it, it is a little problematic in that sense. Um, I'm just gonna go mid, you know, I don't even wanna go bot. If, if I'm bot, actually, no, he's going bot, okay. If I'm by myself bot, like, you just, you don't wanna, I don't know, it's pretty shitty, to be honest. Like, you cannot use your W, which is the main thing. It's really important. Um, so you always wanna make sure you're with someone, if possible. Which is what, one thing I don't like too much about Mordekaiser. It kinda, I feel like it puts him in a really weird spot where he... Feels like he's. It feels like he's extremely reliant on actually being with someone. You know, like he cannot be by himself. And it's, I don't. To me, that's kind of weird. I feel like Marty Kaiser is not. Shouldn't be that kind of champion. He should be someone that wants to be by himself and excels at being by by himself or something, like uh, that. But you know, it's not my decision. It's Rito's decision. <clears throat> Same thing we can play here. I can speed him up. Oh well. Okay, he's in range. Nice damage on the W there. Beautiful. Cool. Huge damage in the last auto attack there from the Q. Evade's passively sitting under her tower. I don't think we can do much. I don't want to do anything there. She's going to get the shield. It's going to be impossible to do anything. So I'm just going to go mid lane. I think we should, we should all just go mid lane and just do our thing here. And uh, maybe get this tower. Unless they're trying to make a play here. They might be able to. Okay, we can actually wait here. Let's see if we can do anything. Someone will have to walk through here, like, really soon, like this Nunu, for instance, right? Come on. No way. Alright, 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 alright. Give me that juicy kill. Alright, let's go, uh, we can go bot, actually. Let's go bot, let's go bot. Let's go bot. Thank you for that. I'm gonna use my W on him to speed him up a bit here. Ooh, nice, nice play, nice play, nice play. He gets the hook. Ooh, wow, that was close. Nice try, though. Nice try. Nice try. Alright, so... Oh my god, he is actually dead. What? Oh man, he is... Okay, I don't... There was no... Uh, we didn't have any minions there, so I thought we were just not going to do anything crazy. That was a little too crazy. That's, considering he's right beside the tower, that gives him a shield. A, li a little too hand for my liking. But I like where his mind is at. I like where his mind is at. Okay. Put the W on this. You can see I, put, I can put it on the ghost, which is really good. Stand beside each other. Oh yeah, okay, he has only one the tower, that's probably why then, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I just barely got out, I'm piecing out, I'm sorry. I am not having any of that. I'm not, I don't want to die for that, man, that's just too ham. We don't have enough people here. The dragon's up in 35 seconds though, so I'm gonna back, I'm gonna get my beautiful uh, Hexta Gunblade, and then we can get Dragon again. And we just push down the tower. That's the thing about the new dragon. Like once you get it, all you can do is just you can literally go mid lane and just push it in hard. Uh, I'm gonna save for my boots. So I'm not gonna get them yet. And for the targons or the relic shield, I don't know if I want to upgrade it yet. I don't know. Like I feel like just leaving it like as is is not not too bad. Um, I mean, I just get it for the laning phase just so I can actually help my laner, you know, get more H HP, sustain, and uh, experience and all that stuff. But other than that, I don't really know if I want to upgrade it. I feel like it's good to just leave it as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this in. I wanna get Dragon right after that, hopefully with Master Yi. I don't know if they will or will not though. Okay, I'm gonna walk to them actually. I shouldn't be alone, I should be with someone. Uh, they are okay actually. Nice. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Let's go, Master Yi. Me and you, boy. Me and you, boy. Come on. Yo, yo, yo. Master Yi. Oh, man. 
He's being scared. He's playing scared. We could have made plays there. We could have made plays. All you have to do is keep chasing them. And uh, they would have... They would have They would have fell for it. 100%. Okay. Because if we can get it, that's a dragon, man. Like, not only is that a dragon for, like, the counter and whatnot and the buffs, but we literally get a dragon, which is the coolest thing ever, I think, now. Alright. I'm just going to put a ward here. Let me see what's happening. I don't think they're coming. Don't think... Oh, the is coming. Let's kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! No! Oh, no! Master Yi! He should have... The second Nunu showed up, he should have instantly switched on him. And we should have killed him like, really, really quickly before he can do that. Because he is a Nunu. All he has to do is consume him and smite. And, uh... Not the biggest of problems, but, you know, we did miss out on a free uh, Dragon Ghost. But that's okay. Good tower there. I want to go ahead and just get some jungle camps with my ghost. It's really nice to have this ghost because I can actually use it on... Uh, I use my W on it, so it's it's really effective. I kind of want some CDR. I feel like I, I feel like getting CDR boots. I really do. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know if that's smart, to be completely honest, but I feel like that could work. No, don't kill my ghost. <laughs> I want to back. I feel like this is a bad spot to back in though. Yeah, this is a really bad spot to back in. Oh, mamma mia. Oh shit. Oh, mamma mia. I'm back. I'm flashing that. No way. I'm going under tower. Oh no, they're not chasing me anymore. Alright. I'm gonna back. Where's Master G? Oh, he's... No, he's not dead. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. I couldn't even see him on the map. I'm like, where is he? I can't see him. I want to get CDR boost because I want to I want to cast more spells. I really do, and I want to get something something that gives me CDR. Uh, cool down reduction. Let's see what's a good item here. Nash's tooth could be decent, to be honest. Actually, no, you know what? Nash's tooth could be really good. But I think this is where I want to be going to. This is definitely where I want to be going to. Uh, the Gunblade with the Will of the Ancients. A lot of AP. Good CDR. I'll have uh, once I finish this. I'll have what 39% CDR or something. Right, that's good. Perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. I'm not going to get blue buff. Blue buff is useless on Mordecai's for the most part, other than the CDR, which I don't need since I'm getting these items. Um, and yeah, I think this works. I get a lot of lifesteal and spell vamp. I hope it doesn't synergize together, though. Unique passive, 20% spell vamp. But it's the unique passive is only to the item itself, from what I understand. So if I get Gunblade and I get this, uh, it says unique... Oh, this is actually a little different now. You heal your 15% of the damage dealt. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Cool. Well, that makes it even better to make sure that it does work together. There's Bedarius making the plays. I like it. Rengar, though, not having any of that. Wow. From my level 2 ultimate, I'm off. Hmm, this Darius, dude. I like it. Oh my god, he is dunking them hard. Wow, good, good, good. Team? No! Oh. It would have been nice to get the ghost on him, because then we could have pushed in mid, that would have been pretty sweet. But, let's go ahead and push this in a little bit anyways. And then, Dragon is up in 3 minutes, so we can definitely get that after. Uh, but for the meantime, I think we can just go ahead and push this tower in. I have to back out here now though. Let's check if the red buff is up. So, there's a W uh, one towards each other. Okay, so, I think if I'm running here, so if I'm ahead, if I'm ahead of the Thresh, I don't get any move speed, I think. So I have to be running towards the Thresh. Kind of like a Janna passive, I would say, right? Very similar in concept, though, uh, from what I understand here. Okay, we can kill this Fiora. Well, actually, no, let's wait in here. I want to wait in here, and then we're going to kill the Fiora. What? How did that go through? That was really strange. Well, that was really strange. I, that kind of, I, I honestly it looked like it went through her. I'm not even going to lie right now. That legitimately looked like it went through her. Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, okay, yeah. Damn. Um, I don't know how that hook missed. That hook looked like it went pretty much through her. That was really awkward. That might have been a bug, but... Or it might have actually missed. I'm not really sure. I need to kind of look at that once again, but... I don't know. It looked like it went through. Do I have a Thresh guy? Hmm. 
Damn, that sucks, man. That that was really weird. I really want to look at that again once I'm done recording. I want to see if that if he actually missed or that might have bugged out. I mean, it is the PBE, so like, you know, bugs aren't anything out of the ordinary here. It is very common for something to not work the way it should. Waiting. Okay. Alright, perfect. Hit this, walk back to the lane, and let's see what we can do. They're doing their thing bottom, man. So, I mean, this Mordekaiser thing, it is pretty good. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I like it that much with like an actual support champion, like Thresh or something. I feel like it's really strong. Maybe Leona, actually, because Leona is very aggressive. But you wanna, you wanna champion. Uh, balling with Mordekaiser that has a lot of damage from their kits. A lot of damage from their kits. Something like an all-in, like maybe a Jarvan, for instance. You know, that could work really well. Because you, you can go super, super ham. Uh, you just have an insane amount of damage, and uh, I don't know. By himself, Mordekaiser kind of feels okay. Like, it's not bad, but it, you know, it doesn't feel like it's anything insanely, insanely crazy either. Put a ward there so we can see if anyone decides to go through there. Hope no one's here. Ah. Oh man, is this the kill? I mean... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna ult that. Okay, Master G's not here. We need Master G. We need him, we need him, we need him for the smites. Um, because that is a free dragon ghost. Okay, Nunus. They're coming, they're coming. I don't wanna... We shouldn't start it yet because they're coming and... Until Master G gets here, there is almost no way we're gonna be getting it. That's a free ghost. Should be dead. Oh, okay, the dare is gone. Alright. Uh, I think we just do dragon. I'm gonna do that. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> it just splashes over the wall. It's funny. Alright, while they do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this dragon so I can get Ash Attack and actually have dragon. And then we can just go mid and probably get the power for free because, I mean, I don't see what they can do to stop a big ass dragon ghost attacking the power, you know? Perfect. So as Fiora decides to suicide to the tower, no problem over there, but I have the big ass dragon beside me now. So let's go ahead and uh to you my friend. That's right, that's right. Okay. I mean, it should teleport to me instantly, right? If I'm too far away. Okay, no, it doesn't. Interesting. I'm not really sure. I was seeing. Uh, usually, the ghost teleports to Mordekaiser if you're too far away. If Mordekaiser is too far away from the ghost, but that one didn't. So I'm not sure if that's maybe something they're still working on, and you know, they're gonna add later, or it is just maybe that's just the way it works with this one. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure, boys. Okay. I'm just gonna get this tower then. His vein is looking pretty strong, I must say. The Darius is here! Darius! I'm backing though, I don't want to fight. This Rengar is really strong, like he's... I mean, I'm Mordekaiser, unless I'm really fed, I'm not gonna destroy Rengar. Especially one that's 8 and 2, right? That's not happening. Um... But I think getting a Zonis for the next item could be quite, quite nice. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and magic. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And a Zonis, getting some armor going, some resistances overall. Um, my ultimate with the Zonis effect could be you know nice as well together. I think it makes sense. I like it. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. All right. So I have twenty. Oh, never mind. This only gives ten percent. Oh, I thought it gave twenty percent. What? Did they change that? I'm not even sure anymore. I guess I'll take it, you know what, whatever. I'll just take it. Just for the CDR. Boom. 30% CDR. Uh, and I wanna go bot. I wanna push the bot. I wanna get the bot farm. 
Let's get the bot farm. There's a lot of it there, and then we can probably join in my team mid or something like that. This game is actually pretty close. I like the. Ooh, this is here. Hey, whoa. Oh, I healed you. Boom. So I went from pretty much being destroyed to about 10% HP to using. Why did I just hear Rengar's text? Oh, because I have his ghost, of course. Uh, I went from like no HP to full HP instantly. So you can see the power of the spell vamp, his ultimate, and overall just all his abilities and his passive combined. You know, I can easily go back to full HP really, really quickly. Being so strong, she just demolished my ghost. Okay, if she oversteps, if he gets a hook on her, we can probably kill her, but. Alright, let's just get this then. Get some HP back with my uh, W. Really good stuff. Nice try, nice try. Why does he slow her? Wait, why did she get slowed there? I don't understand. <laughs> there he is. Rest in dunks. Very, uh, very fitting name. Very, very fitting name. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm ultimate up, so I, I feel I feel good to go. I do. I mean, I can get my HP back fairly quickly. Oh, not trying the hook. All right, you know that's fine. Let's back out of here before we overstay our welcome. Uh, Mashi is gonna pick up his red buff. I wanna. Never mind. There's no red buff to pick up. I'm gonna chill here. I wanna back actually. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough. Yeah, I wanna get my Zonias. It's a good pick up here. Unless someone decides to walk through this area, which someone might. Someone definitely might. Like the Zed. Okay. Hey. I don't know if you saw him. You might have actually seen him. Bottom. Let's go bottom. Get the me a me altar. I can't hold her. She's not letting. Oh my god, I can't hold her. She's dead. Oh, the heal. Man, okay. I was getting slowed there, so I couldn't. Uh, I think Nunu ice balled me, right? So I, I wasn't really looking. I was just I was tunneling the vein so hard, but I was slowed so hard that I couldn't uh, even ult the vein with the ghost because the ghost would have been really good from a vein. Would have pushed his tower down super quickly. <clears throat> Oh wow, that actually hurts a lot, I must say. Alright, get this bad boy, no problem over here. And then we can probably actually transition to the uh, middle inhibitor. And then I think we can go ahead and get the dragon. I can't click on it. Alright. Let's get the dragon. If we Dragon and then Baron, that's really good because the Dragon helps us do Baron really, really fast, really, really quickly. And I think it just, I think it's pretty sweet. Okay, you can back. I want to I wanna see if I can just do Dragon by myself after this, or Baron rather. I want to see if that's a thing or not. I'm just going to have the Dragon tank the Baron. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's see. Can we do it? Me and the Darius. The Thresh will come after he backs, no problem there. Alright. Dragon, let's see. What, what do you have, man? What, what can you do for us here, my friend? What can you do? <laughs> Darius, man. Just Darius is so trolled that. Alright. Dragon. You're gonna come in right in front, and you're gonna attack him right here. Perfect. Okay. It's not too bad, it really isn't too bad. I mean, this dragon is tanking it like a, like a boss. Absolutely no problem over there. Alright, I like that. That was really good. Um, now that we have Baron and we have Dragon, which is almost gone unfortunately, but regardless, the fact that I do have the dragon... 
We can probably just push in top. Push in top of this. Okay, let me help you out there. What? Wait, what? What? Oh, he has Sunfire. Okay, I'm like, how did he die? He's got the Sunfire going. Thresh can have that, I guess. I don't really want the blue buff anymore. He can take that. He can get the extra CDR going. And I am gonna go ahead and push this Oh my god, I think the Rengar ultied her. That's what it looked like. I need a ghost, man. I, I hate not being able to use my W. The W is just, it's just, I feel like it's my favorite ability, other than his ultimate, of course. It's just so good. It really gives me so many good stats. and Well, not stats, but it gives me so much good damage, the HP potential. It's just an amazing ability overall. Ow. Oh my goodness, the Master Yi from Super Handlock. I can give him uh, extra move speed if he runs towards me. Oh, got the ghost, get the new new. Flash kill, flash kill. No! Oh wow, the stun on the bang. Hey. Hey! Oh, that didn't do anything. Perfect. Oh, the Rancor's coming in. Oh, why me? What? Oh, this Rancor doesn't like me, man. Doesn't like me. But uh, I think that might be it for this video, guys. Assuming it is. Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the new Mordekaiser. I think in the ball lane, it's going to be very juicy and exciting and fun. If you did enjoy it, guys, hit the like button. It helps me a lot. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace.